Tikoloshi is a man-made creature in Gun mythology. Today, they are coming in the form of artificial intelligence or robots. As far as Tikoloshi goes, we know and we are aware that eventually they will attack and destroy the manufacturer. Elon Musk he says, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning uh, the demon, which is true and correct. There is a new report that details how artificial intelligence could eventually destroy all humanity. At the United Nations, we can see an artificial robot, Sophia, joining the meeting on artificial intelligence and sustainable development. The question that we want to look at is Africa has fallen behind in science despite the fact that it is, it is the pioneer of most of current scientific advancement like the Tikoloshi that we have already shown. Let's discuss this topic, African myths verified by modern science. What is a myth? Did Africa develop a body of scientific knowledge that predate modern science? Is African mythology a science? Has any African myth been proved to be true by modern science? If we were so advanced, what happened? Let's look at this and uh, define first what is a myth. Ingane kwane, shomo, ngano, hinsomi, aroso, akuko, ifo. A myth is a story belonging to any culture that is derived from primitive beliefs presenting supernatural episodes to explain cosmic order and supernatural forces. These are stories carried by cultures to explain the way the world works. There are lots of uh, cutting-edge quantum equivalent uh, that African tribes like the Dogons formulated well before science had developed an instrument to measure them. In many different ways, the Dogon description of these processes are now proven to be scientifically accurate. Myth has morphed into a scientific truism. When you look at modern science and the Dogon, the modern science talk of unformed universe, which is Amas egg, atom, which is poor. The electrons, protons, and neutrons is senescence. Four types of a spin is germination of the sene. 200 plus fundamental particles the Dogons have got 266 fundamental particles. The myths of the, this African tribe, the Dogon, that correctly defined the key components of matter from atoms to quarks to the vibrating threads of string theory, all in proper sequence and order, each with its appropriate scientific attributes and many supported by explicit tribal drawings that often replicate pertinent scientific diagrams. This came from the myths of the Dogon. The Amas egg and from the universe. This is Amas egg. Even the event at the horizon of the black hole depicted by other scientists, astronomical scientists like Stephen Hawkins, the late, is very close to resemble that of the unformed Amas egg that was formulated by the Dogons before the discovery of the mathematics of astronomy or the instruments that measures it. Let's look at the atom. The Dogon describe how an act of perception transforms a wave into a particle. This is an atom which is a counterpart to the Dogon's paw. It is comprised of the Sene seeds. Image of the origin of matter. All matter is formed by the continuous addition to the elements beginning with the paw. The primary building block, the image of the armor, creative will is located inside the paw. So your will to change situation and your will to be what you want to be lies within you is a will in your cell. The dog on the representation of the Sirius star is reported by Marcel Graule and Gemeine Taitarian, drawn by Ogotomeli. The oval shape represents the armor, the primordial egg that contains Sirius A, the Po, B, Emaya, the Nomo, the Yarongi mythical male destined to pursue his female twin, the star of women, a satellite of Emaya, the sign of women, which is your chromosome, right? women's reproductive organs by the uterus. So, let's ask the question, is there a body of scientific knowledge that Africans discovered and it predates modern science? Yes. In mathematics, in astronomy, in metallurgy, in the making of tools, in architecture, in engineering, in medicine, as well as navigation. So, in mathematics, we consider the Ishango bone that proves that Africans indeed created, cultivated, and mastered what we now know as myths or maathematics. This was found in the Congo and African artifacts dating to 22,000 years ago. 
you can look at this mathematics and the columns here, G, and the sequence of the maths here, Psalm 60, 48, 60. According to the Lebombo and Ishango Bones, these were mythical tools that were used to keep track of menstrual cycles and it required knowledge of the lunar calendar. It was done by African women. So this is a myth that is now known as a truism by science. When you go to astronomy, no one beats the Dogons. Sirius A is a bright star which can be seen in the western sky through the naked eye. But not Sirius B, its invisible partner, which is very small and very dense and heavy. Yet its existence was proven only in 1970 when it was photographed for the first time by western astronomers. The Dogon tribe knew about the existence of this invisible star for thousands of years. They also knew that Saturn has four moons and has rings or halos around it, although these cannot be seen without powerful telescopes. Our ancient knowledge of astronomy dates back to Hamet and many other parts of Africa. Let's look at the patron of craftsmen, whose name is known as Apta, spelled this way. But we give the spelling as Puta, like your spitting of a gobble of saliva. A patron of craftsmen, metal working, carpenters, shield builders, Puta represents the development of not only the earth in its wild form, but also the development of civilization and the rise of man as creator, the creativity that we see today. So the worship of Puta as a major date started in Memphis. The capital city of Asian Hamid, over time, he rose in importance and popularity to be considered as one of the five major gods in Asian Hamid. So that's a myth of craftsmen and a tradesman. Word of armor. Its spiral nature gave the womb of the earth its generative powers. A mass motion forms a spiral which the Dogon refer to as accelerated ball. When Amma broke the egg of the universe, it released a whirlwind that span and scattered primordial matter in all directions. Matter that would eventually come to form all the galaxies, the stars, and the planets. Serpent-like shape seen to emerge from the complete to what a space, a serpent goddess who is a reborn a daily. So, the Milky Way, one of the structures that our ancestors knew the token speaks of a disc like primordial wrinkles which prefigure the spiraling worlds of stars that are to fill up the universe of Amma to infinity so these are the myths that astronomy has now proved to be correct 100% the first step of a four step creation process that is meant to apply to any creation of man or date considered to be the stage when the project is conceived and then executed. So it has now been proved by science as the Calabiao space. That is what you need to start the process. The first seven vibrations of the egg of the world shown here. It was known before telescopes, but now the Dogons reported that this Potolo and Emayo Tolo believe that the brightest star in the sky, Sirius, is Sig Tolo with its companions. So all these were myths that the Dogons knew, but science has now come to prove and uh, says it's true. So come to the spider, the mythological spider that weaves matter as a product from tiny little threads that are vibrating as in string theory. This is the string theory. As a spider web, of course, a lot of us will know up to the atom, and then we split the atom's nucleus to proton and neutron, and we get quarks, and then after quarks, we get uh, strings. As in string theory, which describes more than 200 quantum particles, uh, these threads are said to be the source of the 266 primordial seeds or signs uh, that combine to form larger components of matter, counterparts of the 200 plus uh, strings and shapes. And protons and neutrons and electrons that corresponds to Dada, the spider web, the weaver of matter. 
Now, Amma's egg that broke into pieces and produced all the creation that we see. It's a primordial body. Also in Hemet and successive vibrations, which is similar to the Big Bang, akin to the atom to serve as successive vibrations of that matter. The Dogon define and diagram the coiled rays. In string theory, this corresponds to seven wrapped up time. If we ignore our myths or wait for modern science uh, to experiment on them, thieves will eventually steal the best, like what they've done already here. For over a thousand years, ancient Hamites in ancient Hamit pictured themselves as melanin dominant human beings or bantus or black people or africans but now you can see at the bottom the thieves have come in and they tried to fit themselves in and europeans think that they were ancient egyptians what kind of lying and behavior could put a people that say that they are civilized to steal some other people's culture if you want to do more research and in-depth research you have to read a lot of books especially a written by TDK Kilimanjaro, which you can get from this website, The Art of Research, Philosophy and Methods, Car, and African Times. These are books that you need to have in your library so that you can understand the myths that have been proved as true by science. Africa is a rich history of science and technology, which unfortunately has been largely neglected by academia because the academia is not African. Even the African academia is forced and pressurized to confirm the Greek idea and European supremacy. There have hardly been any studies on African healing, architecture, engineering, as well as any ruins that have not been studied and observations have never been done. Most African myths studied by open-minded scientists stand verified as best or known or yet to be known scientific discoveries or laws you know cesarean this is an illustration from robert felkin felkin showing the young woman lying on the operating table with the surgeon's assistance holding her ankles is published in the edinburgh medical journal 1884 in uganda when they were doing surgery cesarean to pull out a bridged a baby did you know about that where is this science you can see the tools here and then we call them myth or primitive. The best example of an African myth verified by modern science is the Dogon most renowned knowledge about the star Sirius, which dates back to 3200 BCE, long before scientists discovered it in 1862. Let us do more and let us be aware that artificial intelligence is going to unleash Articolosh that will destroy humanity. Our ancient knowledge systems were close to nature and easy to control. Because from within the myths are uh, the kennels our ancestors left for our success. Let us work together. And for more information, send us your email on johnetmarifado.com. Till we meet again, yours, Hamanaja Tepi. To be Zulukun Kenim Jaganja Mzikaban, saying our myths formulate the basis of our science. Thank you.